What's going on you guys? It is Wanny back on your screen bringing a brand new video in Greenville, Wisconsin. If you are new here, make sure to smash the subscribe button down below to join the Wanny family today. And today we are going to be headed to the DMV you guys. I'm going to be getting a special driver's license to be able to drive a huge RV you guys. So let's get down there right now and let's have a great day. Good morning son. How's it going? You watching the morning news? Oh my goodness. Are you serious? There's a ton of road construction. Oh my. I literally have to take my driver's test. Seriously? I literally have the worst luck. So let's get down there right now. Hopefully our driving instructor is nice to us and does not make us go through all this road construction, guys. Because let me tell you, we are literally going to be driving a huge RV through this construction site. It is not going to be fun at all. So let's get on the road right now, you guys. Let's have a great day and hopefully we pass our driving test. As you guys can see, a lot of the road is under construction down there. Maybe we'll have a nice driving instructor and maybe we'll go somewhere else where there's no road construction. But let me tell you, you just never know where you'll be going on these driving tests because every instructor is different and you know, sometimes they like to challenge us. Oh gosh, they literally just sit on the radio. Do not drive large vehicles on these roads with massive road construction. Oh my gosh, I am feeling a little bit nervous right now, okay? I'm sure that I'll do just fine, but you just never know. You just never know. Sometimes you get the meanest driving instructor and they will mark you off for every little thing. Oh my gosh. All right, well, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. All right, we're gonna be arriving at the DMV in just a few minutes. It's actually pretty busy here on the highway as I think all this road construction is leading to a lot of people being delayed in their destinations, but we're getting there and we are going to make sure that we do a great job on our road test. I just gotta make sure that I go nice and slow through the road construction. I believe the speed limit is only 25 miles an hour through it and then we'll be okay. You know, the RV is literally a massive vehicle, but you know, I'm sure I'll be just fine. I've been driving for many, many years and I have a lot of experience, okay? And when we pass, we are gonna go on that amazing camping trip that we've always dreamed about, okay, son? All right, well, here we are right now at the DMV right now and we are gonna get ready for our appointment and we are gonna get ready to pass this driving test. Let's go, let's go, let's go. As you guys can see, it is pretty busy here at the DMV this morning, so hopefully everything goes well. Hi there, ma'am. How are you today? I am Wanny and I'm here for my DMV driving test for the RV. I'm all set and ready to go. I'm a little bit nervous, but I am sure it will be just fine. All right, ma'am. Oh my goodness, son. Can you believe it? I am ready for the test right now. Hopefully everything goes well so we could go on our family vacation. All right. All right. Let's go to the RV. Come on, son. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my goodness, guys. Here are the RVs. They are literally absolutely humongous i cannot believe this guys look at the size of this thing this is crazy all right guys here's the rv that we're going to be taking on for the road test all right guys let's start her up right now and let's get on the road it is going to be a great adventure and hopefully everything goes well so here we go right now you guys hopefully we can maneuver out of this parking spot just gotta take our time and we are going to be getting on the road right now so how you doing miss driving instructor it is great to have you you know i appreciate it i've been driving for many years so i'm sure i'll do just fine oh gosh guys she literally said that we need to head down the main greenville highway that is literally where all the road construction is i'm feeling a little bit stressed right now but we're gonna be okay just taking some deep breaths taking our time because literally this rv is massive you guys it is very difficult to maneuver so you just have to take your time while driving it and literally watch out for anything in the road because this thing is so gigantic it will literally like run it over so gotta make sure you stop at the stop sign so we're getting on the main road right now you guys and we are actually going to have to drive through this road construction for this exam you guys hopefully it is not too crazy and hopefully this rv can fit through the road construction because they were literally Literally saying on the radio to drive small vehicles only they might not even allow us to go through but we're gonna have to find out you guys all right here we go we're merging on the main highway right now it's actually not too busy at all that is a pretty good sign maybe that'll make our test a little bit easier when we're going through the road construction so we are rolling down the road right now you guys we are super super lucky that the roads are pretty empty right now and we are not having to deal with a lot of traffic today that is a good sign because let me tell you when you're driving this massive rv in construction and traffic it is not fun at all you guys it literally 
takes forever to get through these traffic jams and this RV literally holds up a lot of traffic because it literally takes up the entire road so we're gonna be arriving at the construction site in just a few seconds guys I am feeling nervous hopefully we do not hit any cones because the driving instructor said if we hit anything we fail oh gosh guys this highway is getting really busy oh my I'm getting a little bit stressed out over here okay we gotta merge into this lane over here seems like there is a lane closure up ahead all right we're emerging right now seems like we're doing a pretty good job all right guys we got this we got this we got this all right we're going nice and easy here nice and easy oh my goodness guys oh my goodness i'm slowing down okay i'm slowing down do not worry guys we literally almost came to a complete stop over here we're doing just fine and we are making it through the road construction right now all right guys i did a pretty nice job there not too bad if you ask me wow that was pretty good, pretty good. I think that was 10 out of 10 driving, right, Miss Driving Instructor? Guys, she's actually pretty nice. She said that I did an amazing job. All right, guys, we just have to continue down this main road right now, turn around at the Cinex gas station, and then head back to the DMV, and then we should get our special driver's license. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm feeling good about this. I definitely think that we are going to pass, and we are gonna be able to go on our amazing family road trip with the RV, you guys. I really cannot believe it. This is something that our family has always dreamed about and something that we've always wanted to do so we are literally getting stuck in a little bit of traffic right now but that is okay you know that is literally expected as a lot of people are going through the road construction and dealing with a lot of traffic takes a long time to get down this highway all right you guys we are literally waiting here right now i'm feeling a little bit worried about the second part of this test because let me tell you we have to go back through the construction and make it without ramming into anything all right i'm gonna be just fine okay i've been driving for years i know i can do this you guys i know i can do this all right so we are literally just gonna have to go through the synex turn around and then head through the construction site one more time back to the dmv and then we should pass you guys all right we're gonna be turning up here right now it is literally so busy on the highway i thought it was gonna be empty that is why i picked this afternoon spot because i thought everyone would be at work but it seems like so many people are on the road for summer vacation you guys all right here we go right now we're gonna do a little bit of a u-turn here and we're gonna be getting back on the main highway right now you guys through the construction site and through everything else in the town we are doing a great job and we are roaring down the road right now you guys oh my goodness guys seems like it is nice and clear up here which is perfect for me because I get very stressed driving this massive RV around all these vehicles because let me tell you one wrong move and you could be in a massive accident you guys and that would be absolutely horrible so we are headed through the construction site right now and we are gonna make sure that we slow down because these construction workers get extremely extremely upset if you're going pretty quick through it so we're gonna slow down we got to be careful because this RV literally can ram all these cones over so here we go right now they are literally waving the stop sign and the slow sign at us right now so I think we got to stop here I think they got something to say to me uh-oh guys uh-oh oh my goodness all right I'm slowing down I'm slowing down okay uh oh hopefully that's not points oh my gosh guys i ran into one of the barrels oh my goodness okay we're okay we're okay oh my goodness guys there's probably a dent on the rv right now but that is okay i'm sorry about that i'm sorry about that okay i'm slowing it down i am slowing it down guys they literally were making me so stressed i hit one of the barrels all right we're okay i promise we're fine oh my gosh guys now the instructor is very very upset and she does not look too thrilled at all she's literally saying get back to the dmv right now Oh my gosh, guys, I'm not sure that if I actually passed this test. Guys, we might have failed. Okay, this is not good. I am so sad right now. I think we might have failed. We literally hit one of the cones on the exam, and it literally made a huge dent in the front bumper. And guys, these are literally the DMV's RVs, so we might even have to pay for this damage. I am so sorry. You know, accidents happen. You know, I am a trained professional driver, and I do apologize. I really, really am sorry. So we are going to get back to the DMV right now, and we are going to make sure that everything goes all right. All right, hopefully, you know, maybe she'll let us pass. Maybe she didn't even notice. Maybe she didn't even notice. All right, we might even still pass, you guys. So we're going to be arriving back at the DMV in just a few more minutes, you guys. But it seems like our tire pressure light is on right now. Oh, my gosh. Um, there's something wrong with the RV. Uh, I can't steer it. I cannot steer it. Oh, my goodness. 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 Oh, my goodness, guys. We literally crashed into a lake. I am so sorry. 
I don't even know what happened. Oh my gosh, something was wrong with the RV. It literally said check tire pressures. It was not my fault at all. I promise you there's something faulty with this RV, okay? Something faulty. Yeah, I'm okay. Thank you so much for asking. Um, Literally, I lost control. One of the wheels fell off, okay? That is not my fault. That is not my fault at all, ma'am. I believe you gave me a faulty RV here, okay? I think that I still passed the test, right? Oh my goodness, guys. We literally crashed into a lake. I'm so sorry, okay? I'm really sorry. What? I failed? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The wheel literally flew off. Ma'am, I think your mechanics did not check this RV, okay? It is not my fault, Grandma, okay? It is her fault for supplying a faulty RV. I am not paying for nothing, ma'am. You hear me? Yeah, I think I need a redo, ma'am. This was a faulty RV, okay? Maybe even just pass me, okay? Don't even worry about the accident. I'll just pass, okay? Oh, gosh, guys. Here comes the dot department right now. Um, I am so sorry, sir. Um, this RV was faulty. The wheel literally fell off, and we crashed into the lake over here. This is absolutely unbelievable, you guys. I cannot believe believe this has happened oh my we're okay though we are okay all right guys as you can see the wheel literally flew off and grandma's vehicle was damaged from it sir this was not my fault it literally was the dmv supplying a faulty rv and it caused the accident okay as you guys can see literally everyone is getting so upset over here right now yeah oh cone what are you what are you talking about sir cones oh my goodness uh i don't see any cones sir oh my gosh apparently there is a cone stuck in the wheel um that might have been my fault i truly apologize guys there's literally a cone stuck in the wheel oh my goodness guys he literally got the cone stuck out of the wheel this is unbelievable i am really sorry ma'am it was an accident accidents happen sir do not show that to her oh my goodness he literally got the cone out of the water oh my gosh oh my gosh i am so sorry i'm so sorry you know what i will just redo the test in another month all right this is crazy. Uh, Grandma, the DMV will pay for it, all right? Well, thank you guys for the opportunity. You know, I will definitely just redo the test and make sure that it goes well next time, all right? All right, son. Well, let's go back and get our vehicle right now. This is crazy. This is crazy, guys. We literally were in a bad accident. We're lucky that everybody is okay, and we are lucky that nobody got injured. We are just very thankful about that. But other than that, you guys, unfortunately, we failed our test. We're going to be getting back back to the DMV. I think this DOT employee could drive us back. Sir, can you drive us back to the DMV, please? Because let me tell you, our vehicle is over there right now. So we're going to be getting back on the road right now, and we are going to be headed to pick up our vehicle, and then we are going to be going home. Son, I cannot believe we failed. I guess we'll just have to postpone our family trip for another month, all right? After that, we are going to be going on our trip. I promise you, we are going to be going on that camping trip, son, and it is going to be the best trip ever all right it is the dmv's fault okay it had a faulty tire and it blew up and made me crash okay it was not my fault at all so thank you so much sir we appreciate a lot all right son let's go home right now and let's go try and find another dmv that we can redo the test at uh ma'am ma'am i'm going to another dmv because you guys literally supply faulty rvs okay i do not want to take another test here bye ma'am thank you have a good evening have a good evening so we are getting on the road right now you guys we are going to be headed home after a very very stressful driving test literally the rv ended up in the lake over here it was not my fault at all because the wheel literally fell off i don't know if it was because of the cone that i ran over but you know the axle should have been strong enough to survive a cone you guys seriously so as you can see the rv is literally still in the lake over there yeah that thing literally was from the 1900s and it stunk so bad they probably never got that thing fixed ever i mean the steering wheel was so shaky i mean it definitely felt like something majorly was wrong with it so we're gonna be headed home right now we're gonna do some research son i'm gonna be going to another dmv in the town because let me tell you i do not want to have another driving test with that karen she literally you know i think she caused that to happen because she did not want me to pass she wanted me to fail from the start and you know that's what happened you guys that is what happened so we are rolling down the road right now we're a little bit disappointed 
but I am sure we'll pass next time, okay? I know, she sat there complaining about everything. I mean, she should be happy that I am doing a great job. I literally made it through road construction with that massive RV. Not everybody can do that, you guys. I mean, it is definitely a very difficult task. So, I mean, I am completely worn out from sitting here driving all through the town. Literally was like a three hour road test, you guys. It was not my fault at all. Accidents happen and you know, it was not my fault. So we are finally back at home right now. We're gonna be going on the computer, calling another DMV and setting up another appointment for a redo test. So finally, we're home. All right, son, we have made it. Thank goodness, thank goodness. So let's get on the computer right now, see where another great, great DMV is. Seems like there's one in Appleton. All right, we're gonna make an appointment right now and we will be going to do a redo test tomorrow. So what a day it has been. I'm gonna whip up some dinner, son, and then we are gonna get some rest because tomorrow I have another appointment at 7 a.m. for another appointment. So hopefully that one goes better and we pass our exam. So we're putting in the meatloaf in the oven right now and dinner will be done shortly. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to join the Wanny family today. If you made it to the end of the video, you are awesome and we'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye everybody.